mixing of the thin set. We got our drills with our egg beaters. Those egg beaters that you see on here are just one type of mixer. You can see why they're called an egg beater. They just look like a big egg beater. But you know, these work really well for mixing thin set. If you're going to buy one mixing paddle, this is the one I get. I got these for 16 bucks at Lowe's. So good to have. So uh, I like to mix. You, you can mix your, your buckets, your bags, depending on how much you need. I like to try to stay with halves or quarters, either a full bag, a half a bag, or a quarter. That's easier to break down the water ratios. We always start with the water. Okay, so I'm going to start. That's the first ingredient is the water. Once you have the water calculated out, then you can add the powder to get the to get the consistency that you need. There, the LHT Plus is 4.6 to 4.9 quarts of water, or 4.4 to 4.6 liters. So there isn't a, a little bit of wiggle room. You can make it a little thinner or a little thicker based on what you, we need. Uh, up to the up to the yeah. Yeah. And rule of thumb is that you usually better. you're going to use more water than they require. What kind of consistency yeah. are looking for? That's where we're going to find oh, out. Oh, yeah. sure yeah. Dance yeah. it in. That's important here. So, yes. so go, and then once you got the water, go ahead and hook your, your egg beater up onto your drill. Sorry. <laughs> That's great. Are you not plugged in? Sorry, the, hook, the plug's right there for you. you plug in there, unwind that sucker. You could just pass that chuck down if anybody needs yeah. it. Yeah. There is a way yeah. to do it where if you want to. Usually, usually you don't need a chuck. You can just hold your hand on the chuck and tighten. Get a little turn. Get a little uh, turn. And yeah. That's all you need. You don't need it really tight. Yep. Just hand tight will be fine. Okay. We'll grab on you. Okay. Okay. Now put the rest of it on the ground. Yeah, go ahead and rest it on the ground. Hold there just the. Hold. See how this part's gonna spin free. So, so you hold it. Just gently, hold it. gently throw. Not a lot of speed. Just enough to get to feel the power go and then hold that tight. You're gonna hold that chuck portion tight, and it's gonna tighten around the neck of your beater. Yeah. Push the trigger. Just gently, nice and gently. Light. Trigger. You'll feel it engage. And once you do, if you're not feeling comfortable, that's what the chuck comes in, then you can tighten it with the chuck. And then you get, you know, gears into it, you just grab it, throw it up, and grab it. Alright, let's go. Go ahead and give it a give it a whirl, Peter. There you go. Feel it engage. Yeah, yeah. Now you really held on to that part to get that just grip on to the, the, to the, the tines here. If you, if you feel like it's too loose, and give it one more throttle. Okay, it's right. good. All right, so now uh, about a half a bag. Maybe start with a little less than a half. Rest your, yeah, go ahead and rest your paddles back yeah. down. Just lay your paddles, your paddles down. Not breathing it in as best as you can. If you feel like it's too dusty, just take a, take a break and put it down and take a step back. There you go. Yep. Use your knees as much as you can too. Try to save your back. Yeah, when you're ready, go ahead and lift it up.
stick for at least two to five minutes. consistencies right now which is perfect mm -hmm. okay so once you do your initial mix to where it's at right now um, if, if you notice it's too loose or if you want it a little thicker uh, I think that everybody's uh, Spencer's is just about right I like that for a floor mud that's good that might be a little bit loose This one I think is a little loose. That one's that one's that one's almost, almost that one's a little, right on once edge. it slacks it'll yeah. harden up. So that's yeah. like there is some play. There's going to be play. So, you can, so let's add a little bit more into this one. It's not going to be you know a problem right at this stage to adjust. Yeah. So why don't why don't you guys okay. why don't you guys come over here and and give this one a feel and you'll be able to feel it. It's just a little. Yeah, the way loose. it reacts. See how it reacts. You can actually see the water content in the mortar right now. You see how it has this glaze over the top. And the way it responds and the drip of it off of see a little dollop. Yeah. See that's important. It's you can barely, see that water so content shit. in the material. It's like pancake. So, it's a yeah, loose. so pancake a little looser. Yeah, yeah, pancake batter is looser than this. But that's still pretty good. You notice how when I take the trowel out that the ridges still hold up? That's what you're looking for as far as knowing that this this thin set will work it's not too loose if those ridges stay up it, it's going to work it's going to when you trowel it the trowel ridges are going to stay up so i actually think this one's that one's good too I, I i would say maybe we just add a little bit of powder to this one and the amount of powder we need really isn't much i'm just going to add maybe maybe that much powder Worry about it. <laughs> oh no, I'm not doing it. Okay, so now you can give that a feel. And so that's about what we want for a floor mud right there. Okay. So after we get the initial the initial mix, 
uh, if you read the directions, it's going to tell you to wait uh, five minutes. Okay, so this is called the slake time. This is allowing the thin set to kind of do its initial thing of mixing the cement and the water really mixing together. You're going to give it five minutes and then we're going to remix it. So this is a good time to have a smoke. If you do that, whatever, uh, take a little break, come back in five minutes and then uh, go hit the elliptical. Yeah, go hit the elliptical. So this one's okay. okay. Yes, I believe this one's okay. It's, uh, it's like so uh, baking bread. Add. bread dough. Is that so how it all is? have different uh, uh, moisture contents depending on where you're at. And yeah. The elevation. Mm -hmm. so it's really you have to do it by touch. Yes. So only add powder. Right? That's your goal. That's um, your goal. No. If not you, water. you know, I'm not. Now I'm just going off of what they say. If, if we're on a job site and we're like, oh, we put too much powder in, we'll take a sponge and squirt some more water in. It's not gonna. But that's the goal. Oh, that's within goal that goal. slack time, that's where you get yeah, to you have that. Do it you get to control your mud. Like you may need to build time. it up. Like what if you run into a part of your floor that really drops out? You got to build up your tile. You want a little stiffer mud. So when you go to make it, you can go ahead and, and really make a stiffer mud. It, of course, it's going to affect your open time, but you may need it to have a harder consistency just to make your tiles flow a little better. And then, or you may be a really big hump and you want it looser so that you're, you compress your mortar to really help you flatten out a ridge. That's where you mix a little bit looser. And yeah. then you have that little bit of play time, like I said, like you were saying, during the slack time is when you get to adjust those and try to find that, that consistency you're after. But rule of thumb, mix it looser, let it slack, and then if you need to add powder to get your consistency. Yeah, because as it slacks, it's gonna, it's gonna firm up a little bit. And as the time goes, on a hot day, you probably want your thin set to be a little bit looser because temperature really affects that pot yes. life too. If it says a pot life is four hours, that's at 70 degrees. You know, if this was last week when it's 115, <laughs> that probably cuts it down to yeah. two hours. You slack your mud in the sun, it's gonna come, it's gonna harden. Oh, oh yeah, that's opposition. yeah, that's Talk another water yeah, that's too. another point I want to make is you want you want to be mixing with cool water. Uh, so if this hose is sitting in the sun. When it squirts out, it's going to be, you know, 100 degree water. Uh, you want to use cool water, and also you want to keep your bags. See how those bags are in the sun? If, if those bags heat up and the mortar gets hot when you mix it, it's going to shorten that pot line too. So before you mix your mortar, make sure your bags are in the shade. Make sure you're using cool water. In the winter time, you don't want to use water that's too cold. It's kind of the opposite. You want to try to get it to that 70 degrees is the optimal that these thin sets are formulated for. Really finicky. Very finicky. Very yep. All right, so that should be, that was five minutes. Uh, we'll so go now ahead. Now we want to mix it again. Now, now we'll go, go ahead and just give it like spin. another 30 seconds to a minute. Just Give it the, give it the bucket. And that way 
way it's just easier to clean it. Just full throttle in the water. Make sure your bucket's not full or it will spill. So you can full throttle and that can help you clean off your get ready for next for next batch. Now you can uh, you take it off, right? You can take it off if you reverse it. Yep. Just reverse. So on the drills, you can reverse it. Oh, you got it. Now it works. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got it. Now there it is. Go ahead and hit it. You got to get one. Oh. Yeah, go ahead and hold that. There you go. Perfect. Right off. You should just leave these in there, too, or? Yeah, they need some, they're going to need some rinse buckets. Did you want to get a new rinse bucket? Sure. Or? Yeah, we got, we got plenty of buckets. Are they here? Just get one more and they can use those four. <coughs> right? Or not? Do you four. Want to, or do you want to get five new rinse buckets? Oh, for the water buckets for inside? Yeah. There's yeah. ones in there, I think. Uh, didn't you bring some in? Yeah. I think yeah, there's five in there. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right, looks like mud. Right. Looks like you're ready to so, uh, trowel out. We're going to start on the floor, guys. I, I put your guys' name on your little four module, so go ahead and bring your pin set in. Grab my bucket. Is easy on the back. Throw an arm out real far if you want extra balance. <laughs> uh, get that arm out there to counterbalance that.